My name is Eli Small and I'm a social studies teacher here at Deering High School and for the past 10 years I've been teaching an elective for juniors and seniors called Street Law where we study the structure of the U.S. government and conflict between individuals and the government within our legal system here in the U.S. One of the ways that I try to get the students to understand how our government works and how we decide conflict within our system is by examining Supreme Court cases. And traditionally, I've given a list of Supreme Court cases and maybe had students pair up, investigate, and then report out a summary of a specific case from the rest of the class. This year, I decided it'd be interesting to have the students in groups pick their own Supreme Court case uh, based on one of the amendments that's designed to protect individual freedom and then students should take that case and make a movie trailer as though a, f a movie was going to come out based on this famous landmark U.S. Supreme Court case. And I did a movie clip with a team and um, it's about a case that went to the Supreme Court and in this case that I did it was about a church that would protest uh, military funerals saying and they believe that for every military person that was killed was because of a homosexual and earth on earth and um, they would just protest it and one of the funerals the dad thought it was disrespectful and didn't like it so they took it to the court saying that they weren't allowed to do that and it was disrespectful to the funeral to the family and to the soldier that was killed. We read a bunch of different cases but this one stood out and we also didn't know the answer to it wondering why it was fair for them to do that and we could see both points both sides so we wanted to explain why it was right and why it was wrong. I think, of him, I think of these assholes. I have to think of the shock that was on my daughter's face when she saw the signs. I have to see the hurt in my dad's eyes when his grandson gets killed, and then he has to go through this. To me, what they did was just as bad, if not worse, if they had taken a gun and shot me. At least the wound would have healed. I got a lot out of this project, actually. Uh, the amendment itself, we learned what it meant. We learned about this case in particular. Um, I learned how to edit a movie and film it and we had to write a script. It was, I got a lot out of this. I think it is important that we got to choose which topic we wanted to do because it made the entire group more engaged in the project and it just gave us more freedom to do what we wanted and with that freedom it caused the whole group to actually enjoy what we were doing. I will remember this case and everything I learned from it. So I'll remember if I see future cases just like this, I'll know what can really happen. This was a, a shift for me as a teacher. Instead of standing in front of the classroom and delivering information that I think the students should know and telling them that this is important and you need to know it and here's why, uh, I had to kind of surrender that control to the students and allow them to discover for themselves what was important. And that's a, that's a big shift. And I was more guiding the students through the process than actually standing and delivering information to them. 
I think that the students learned a lot through this project. One of the, the things that they definitely learned was issues surrounding filmmaking and technology. They had to do videotaping, they had to do editing, uh, they had to try to integrate sound and music uh, along with the video. So that's one skill that they had to deal with. The other was that they had to investigate a Supreme Court case and because I let them choose the topics, they chose cases that they were really interested in. And I really think that they stuck with the students. One example was we were talking about current events. We had been talking about the Eighth Amendment, which is about cruel and unusual punishment. And a current event came up about a woman who was punished by a judge and forced to hold a sign uh, declaring what she had done. She passed a school bus on the sidewalk and a student said, that's a violation of the Eighth Amendment because that's such an unusual punishment. This same student had just got done making a video about an Eighth Amendment case. And so for me to see students making that sort of connection, it's invaluable. That's my goal as a teacher is to see those things happening.